Ever since its first race in 1993, the Porsche Super Cup has always challenged its limits. Hundreds of the best GT racing drivers have fought tough duels over the past 30 years to claim victory and to keep raising the bar. The most international, the most competitive, the most professionally managed cup in the world. The good thing here in this championship is the cars are almost the same. The anniversary season was always about celebrating the legacy of the pinnacle of international Porsche One Make series. And that legacy was celebrated on and off the track. For example, at the 30th anniversary get-together during the Formula One race weekend in Spielberg. After all, we celebrated the special atmosphere that we always had in this paddock since 1993. Eight selected circuits were on the program within the framework of Formula One. A special highlight was this year's VIP driver and five-time MotoGP world champion Jorge Lorenzo. His Porsche 911 GT3 Cup carried the names of the winners of all 302 Super Cup races as part of the anniversary design as well as the eight permanent teams, including newcomers Ombra Racing. Guest drivers also competed during the season to secure their place in the Porsche Super Cup history books. The first race was in Imola, exactly where the success story began 30 years ago. For us, that as Italians, it's pretty amazing. You, you see Italian chants and uh, stuff like that. Imola and Monaco, we showed a very, very good level and this was a big boost to the whole team. The Tifosi celebrated the return of the Super Cup after a 15-year break, while Dylan Pereira secured the first win of the season in a spectacular race in the rain. A month later, it was time for the most famous circuit on the calendar. Before the race, former Super Cup champion Wolf Hensler took a spin with former Porsche factory driver Mark Lieb in a specially built 911 GT3 featuring the VIP car design. On track, Larry Tenforda registered a very solid start to finish victory. Beside him, Dorian Boccalacci claimed a spot on the podium in Monaco for the second time in two years. Being in Monaco and doing that amazing job two years in a row is uh, quite satisfying. Silverstone Circuit was back on the calendar after a year's break with all of its rich history. Rain drastically shortened qualifying, and local heroes Lorcan Hannafin and Harry King missed their chance to secure good starting positions. Having Harry King in his local race finishing third and on the podium in the UK was something really important for him and important for us. Starting from pole, Larry Tenforda was overtaken in the first corner by Porsche Junior Heinrich, who held on to secure the win. and the series moved straight on to Spielberg, where the 30th anniversary was celebrated with some former stars and team members. 30 years of Super Cup, that's something really extraordinary and very special. From a pink front row, Dylan Pereira secured victory against Porsche Junior Heinrich in BWT Lechner Racing's home race. Tenforda was unable to get his 911 GT3 Cup to the finish line after a collision, an event with repercussions for the defending champion for the rest of the season. For sure, the uh, did not finish in uh, Red Bull Ring, where Larry was in P2. Uh, that has a big influence on the championship. After a two-week break, it was on to Le Castellet for the first ever Porsche Mobile One Super Cup race at the Circuit Paul Ricard as part of the Grand Prix de France. For rookie Bastien Boos, who started from pole position, it was a confident start to finish victory and his first race win. Paul Ricard in France was the Bastien Boos weekend. For me, by far the best rookie this year in the Porsche Mobile One Super Cup. 
A huge victory, not only for the BWT Lechner driver, but also for rookie coach Marco Siegfried. The action continued after a short break at the famous Circuit de Spa-Francorchamps, where Luxembourg's Dylan Pereira secured another milestone on the way to the championship. In a thrilling race, the three front runners, Pereira, Tenforda and Heinrich, all claimed a spot on the podium which kept the title race exciting for the final two events. We had a good race in Spa, but it was not good enough for us. spa Francorchamps was immediately followed by Zandvoort, the home of Dutch motorsport fanatics. After an eventful race and several safety car phases, it was not a local hero who came out on top, but Frenchman Marvin Klein, who claimed a first Porsche Mobile One Super Cup victory for the young CLRT team. We were very, very proud. You know, it's a lot of work, and I think it's a very nice reward for the team. Rookie Bastian Boost celebrated an early title win in the rookie classification with Team BWT Lechner Racing, who also secured the team classification with an outstanding group performance. This is the most important title, it shows the whole performance over the whole year. We are very proud of it. We have secured the team title already for the 12th time. In a fitting bookend for the anniversary season that began in Italy, the final race was at the venerable Autodromo Nazionale in Monza. While Dylan Pereira and Larry Tenforda fought a hard battle for the last important points of the season, rookie Bastian Boos secured a second race win in his debut season. In the end, a fifth place finish was enough for Dylan Pereira to secure the title of 2022 Porsche Mobile One Super Cup champion. I think for him it's a really big relief. This year we did everything right from the beginning on. You could see in the second part of the season we have been even stronger than in the first part of the season. In the Pro-Am classification, Ward Lindland held off the competition to claim the fourth Pro-Am title of his Porsche Super Cup career. One of the aspects that definitely fascinated me a lot this year was again how close the competition was and how much everybody was fighting to make sure they really land on the top of the podium at the end of the year. And there's only one more thing to add. We're looking forward to continuing the thrills as part of Formula One. Once again on the most famous circuits in Europe, and once again with the best teams and drivers from the National Porsche One Make Series. Make sure to be part of the action when the rubber meets the road again in 2023.